Oakley hits the entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. Jenny. I don't see how you manage to hit it every time. That's easy, Tag. Once you learn to see just the bullseye and nothing else, then all you have to do is point your gun at it and pull the trigger. I mean, that's all you have to do. Me, I hit everything but what I'm aiming at. Oh, that's because you're looking at everything. <laughs> Tag, what do you think about when you're doing your arithmetic lesson? Oh, sis, you know how I feel about arithmetic. Mm -hmm. And it's just why you're no good at shooting or your lessons. Your attention is just like a gun. Aim it at what you want and hold it there. And don't think of anything else. Lecture's over. Hey, I'll race you to the big oak. You're on. All set? Raring to go. Okay. <laughs> It's Annie Oakley and that kid brother of hers. If she finds out what we're up to, she'll go gunning for us. Easy, Tiger. We don't want to come barging in here and scare our friends. Look, Annie! Mr. Hoppity. Hi, Mr. Hoppity. You knew we were going to come, didn't you? You were just waiting for us, weren't you? Look what we brought you, Mr. Hoppity. Isn't he cute? Come on. Wish we could bring him home with us. I guess he's a lot happier here than he would be in town, though. And a lot safer. Goodbye, Mr. Hoppity. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, after that race, I'm dying of thirst. Well, the canteen's empty, but we can fill both you and it at the pool. Great. Horses first, Tag. They won't muddy the water, and it'll give us a chance to cool off. Okay, but my tongue's hanging out of yard. <laughs> like they're aiming to take a drink. So what? Nobody can pin anything on us. Whoa, Target. Now be a gentleman, Target, and don't splash. Come on, come on. <laughs> What's got into you, anyway? Looks like he doesn't want you to drink, either. You know, you're acting just plain old selfish. Wait a minute, maybe he isn't. Maybe there's something wrong with that water. Looks okay to me. Here. If there is, we've got to find out about it right away. We can't let our little animal friends get sick from that tainted water. What's she doing? Looks like she... She is. She's taking a sample of the water. We'd better head back for town. Right like the wind, Tag. We haven't time to be careful.
When we were riding through Annie's lock this morning, I had the feeling that, well, that we were being watched. And not by just the animals. Could be poachers. But I'd have noticed if they'd left any tracks. Annie? Oh, Annie. Annie, girl. Ah, she's not here. Well, help yourself to the pie. It's fresh. Annie baked it this morning. Thanks. I never refuse a piece of Annie's pie. Here they come. Uncle Luke. Uncle Luke, something's wrong with the water in the lower pool. Target wouldn't let Annie drink from it. Acted up something terrible. You didn't drink any of your soft tank. But didn't have time. I took a sample so as Mr. Porter could analyze it. If it is tainted, we've got to fence in the pool before the animals come to drink at sunset. Tag, pick this and wash it out real good. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Didn't I say somebody was watching us? And whoever that somebody was, he could have thrown something into the pool. If Target wouldn't drink it, that something could be poison. Yeah, that's right. No color. No smell. I'll have to test it to find out what it is. Uh, but you needn't wait. I'll, um, I'll bring the report over as soon as it's ready. Please hurry, Mr. Porter. There isn't a minute to lose. I'll be as quick as I can. She's played right into our hands bringing you that sample of water. I still don't like that, I tell you. Listen, Sam. All we have to do is to show that that land isn't fit for a game preserve and the money's in the bank. And $50,000 is a lot more than we'll ever get out of that hole in the ground that you said was a gold mine. All right, I'll make up a phony analysis. Now you're talking. We'd better get back to that mine. Who put it there? Who put what where? The money in the bag. Nobody has yet. But Mr. Percival Adams will, day after tomorrow. Please, Annie, wearing out the carpet. Why don't you relax? Why didn't he come? It shouldn't have taken him this long. Sorry, I'm late. Did you find out anything, Mr. Porter? I did. Arsenic in exceedingly large quantities. Arsenic? Well, who'd want to put arsenic in the water? Well, no one, Mr. McTavish. It probably washed down with the rains. You see, arsenic is present in some mineralized areas, like Annie's Ark. Well, we've got to get up there, fast. What about Tag? We'll be back before he gets home from school. I still don't see how arsenic got in here naturally. There's not enough minerals around here worth sinking a spade for. If it had been, old Hiram Brown wouldn't have welded the land of the animals. He was so tight-fisted, he made the Scott and me green with envy. And he got the ark out of him. But then, and he can get anything out of anybody. Are you figuring the animals are going to read that sign? I'm figuring somebody might come along that's thirsty enough to climb that fence. What you fretting about, Annie? I brush my teeth without you telling me to. <laughs> Now you're hitting the bullseye. What were you thinking about? Oh, about animals. But mostly about the deer and the fawn. You know, Tag, fawns are the most wonderful children in the world. Well, I've seen them stand by their mother for five whole minutes without moving when she thought danger was near. They don't go rushing ahead. At least not until their mother tells them it's safe, because, well, they know what she tells them to do is for their own good. Just like me telling you to wash your face and eat your vegetables. But you're not my mother. No. But someone had to be. After I was died. Sure glad you got that fence up so the animals can't get the water. So am I, Tag. So am I. Well, now they'll have to fence this pool in. Come on, Dad, let's get to work. We gotta cover up our tracks. How many did you find, Lofty? About 
half a dozen. Reckon the rest of them stayed in the hills and drank from the streams. Oh, Miss... Mr. Hopperty. Miss... Mr. Hopperty. Mr. Hopperty. He was Tag's pet. He used to come and eat out of our hands. We can't leave him here like this. We won't, Annie. As soon as we get a spade, we'll bury it. The ground's soft. I think I could manage with a sharpened stick. Well, we better get back to town and get something to build a fence with. Fanny has to give up the ark. It's going to bust her heart wide open. Yes, I know. Since the poison seeps into the pools naturally, I see nothing we can do about it. We'll be back in a little while, Annie. Well, there they go. No, Annie's still there. They'll go away. All the birds and bear and deer. And Mr. Hoppity's family. And be shot down by people. I just like to hit a moving target. Unless you do something about it. You're the only one who can. We're putting our trust in you to save and protect your children. Amen. None of us were wearing hard nail boots. What's she doing? I don't know. Found something. I bet we didn't wipe out all our tracks. Shots are coming from back there. You crazy fools. Up there in the rocks. 4440s. There were two of them. One of them wore hobnail boots. Lofty, take Annie back into town. She's not safe running around alone. I'll follow the trail of those murderers, and I just hope it leads me to them. All right. What's the idea of paying a call on Sam Porter? Find out where a person can get arsenic around here. They he could get it from Sam. He's a chemist. Slowly. Maybe he's around back. Why would anyone poison the animals? That's something we've got to find out. What's the matter? I've boots. Where'd you get that? From a print by the upper pool. It can't be Sam's. It's not the right size or weight. But it could be Ward Blake's or Dan Ferris's. They're partners in Mr. Porter's mine. Yeah. I think I'll have a talk with those boys. Lofty! Lofty, wait! Finding a track isn't proof that Blake or Ferris put the poison in those pools. If those boots belong to them, we can prove they were up there. They could bury the boots and the rifle and claim they didn't know anything about it. We've got to find out first whether or not Mr. Porter's analysis of that water was right. If it wasn't, it would tie him into the scheme and his partners along with him. Nice work, Annie. 
I'll get some water from the pool. No, Lofty. We've got to have the sample Mr. Porter analyzed. Otherwise, he could say it wasn't the same as we gave him. I wonder if he's thrown it away. Why should he? Nobody would question his word. We didn't until we found the boot print. Okay. I'll get that bottle. Oh, wait, you can't do that. We mustn't let him know we suspect him. Leave it to me. I'll get that bottle. found something. I bet we didn't wipe out all our tracks. Those rifle shots are coming from back there. You crazy fools. Up there. What? If we'd only used our stick in the beginning. But I never thought about it. That little mistake is liable to put us in jail. What in blazes are you doing with this? They told me to get rid of the sign. You dumbhead. Why didn't you hide it in the bushes like it had fallen? What did he take this for? If Adams finds out it's a game preserve, he won't have anything to do with it. And he's going over there this morning. Is Adams here? He came in on the train last night. You'd better have a talk with him. I'm going into town and get that bottle. if it couldn't be used as a game preserve. Well, according to the terms of the will, it'd go back to old man Brown's estate. His nephew, Sam Porter, would inherit it. Sam Porter? Lofty, will you take that sample of water to Mr. Jones in Parkville? Would you get it, Annie? It's in the living room. You'll need a fresh horse to make good time. We'll arrange it. Be right back, Annie. I want Mr. Jones to analyze that as quick as he can. Right. somebody would make a try for it. So I filled a bottle with water and put it behind the clock. Then I hid the real one here somewhere, but it's gone. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, Tag, what are you doing with it? You didn't drink any of it. I didn't notice the right night. I was going to use it for polywogs. I didn't drink any of it. Oh, oh Tag, to think of you playing with a bottle of poison. Oh. Oakley, and this is my brother, Tad. Well, I'm glad to know you. I'm Percival Adams. Mr. Adams, you're a geologist. Could you tell me if there's anything around here worth a lot of money? Why, uh, yes. That hillside there. 
It's solid cement. Cement? That's right. The company I represent is paying a Mr. Porter quite a lot of money for it. Porter? Doesn't belong to him. This is a county game preserve. Game preserve? We better tell Uncle Luke and Lofty about this. You're not telling anyone, Miss Oakley. You or your brother. Come on back here. Don't worry. Sale will go through. But you're cutting me in on the profits from now on. As for our young friends here, I'll expect you to uh, take care of them. OK. But we're not splitting that 50 grand with nobody. I'm dictating the terms, not you. Now, see here, I won't be party to a murder. Lofty Craig has come up the trail. <laughs> Arsenic they put in the water. There's a poison much worse. You can't blame me. I didn't know what Sam Porter was up to. He knew enough to poison the pools. And to try and steal that bottle of water. Hey, Tag, I told you I'd marked his hat. to get evidence on those scoundrels. Was for Annie. Once she aims at some bullseye. 